Thanks for joining us today. Uh, for this video, we will be providing a general overview and review of navigation for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2016. In my particular example here, I am uh, using the role center for the accounting manager. NAV comes out of the box with several role centers and they contain specific pieces of information for users in that role. This is very Microsoft-like, so you can see I've got my navigation pane as well as my ribbon, and those are completely configurable by the user. If you look down the right here, um, the layout of this role center that you see is, is configurable by the user as well. I've chosen to include some charts, so I've got a cash flow chart here, and I can drill into this if I want to. Um, I've also included a list of customers that I want to pay attention to, and some vendors that I want to pay attention to as well. I've got a notification here. Uh, you can see in this My Notifications section, it's a note that says, please pay this invoice as soon as possible. So when I log in to Dynamics NAV, I can see these notifications that other users may have sent me. And to see this invoice, all I have to do is just double click and it's gonna take me right to that particular document, invoice, vendor, customer, whatever, transaction for which this particular notification has been generated. I can also um, have some reports here on my homepage in my role center. And then the real meat of the role center here is in the activities queue. And what this does is based on my role, provide me with very specific information. You can see there's some links here. So if I wanted to do a new purchase credit memo or create a cash receipt journal, I could do that from here. I can also do much of that from, from my ribbon. I've got some activity cues here that are telling me the status of the work that I'm doing um, or the work that I've said that I want to pay attention to. So in this case, I've got 57 overdue sales documents and 56 purchase invoices that are due today. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, going to click on this tile for the 56 purchase invoices that are due today. And this is going to take me to a list. And what this allows me to do is view the contents of that tile. So I've got 57 purchase invoices here that are due today. Now I can resort this in any way that I want. So maybe I wanna resort it on the vendor. I can even filter this. So you can see you've got this type to filter. I could type something in that filter and you can see I've got a whole list of items that I can filter on. I'm just gonna right click on this vendor number and notice that I have the option to filter to this value. And you can also use the function keys to do that as well. So now I've just filtered to this vendor V00010. And I can continue to drill in. So anytime that you see an underline in NAV, that means you can continue to drill in. You can see all of these numbers. Um, you can continue to drill in um, to that field. Now in this case, we're looking at a vendor number. So I'm just going to click on that vendor and we're gonna open up a list of vendors. And so the same kind of concept, I'm gonna make this full screen, the same sort of concept that we just saw in the payables invoices due today, except now we're looking at vendors. And so you can see this is that same vendor office supply company that we were looking at in the other list. Notice these uh, fact boxes on the right. This tells me information about the vendor. It tells me the balance. It tells me the vendor number. All the information um, at a glance that I need to know about the vendor. I can also come up here into my ribbon and click on this statistics button. And so this is gonna give me statistics about the vendor. During this period, this is how much I have invoiced for this vendor. This is how much for the year and this is life to date and last year if, if it's there. Now again, anytime you see something with an underline, you can drill in. So the opening balance or the balances for that vendor, I can see that all right here. And I can continue, as you're seeing with everything else, I can continue to drill, drill in and drill back to that original invoice. Okay, so we're gonna go back into our payables invoices due today. And I'm gonna, actually gonna clear this filter out. So we're gonna get our big list again here. For me, I like having my vendor number at the very beginning of my list. I don't like it to be off here in the middle. So NAV makes it really easy for me to personalize 
this list of information um, and actually change the columns. I can remove them. I can add additional columns if I want to. All we're going to do for now is we're going to move this vendor number to the top. And then when I say OK, now it's going to tell me I have to reopen the page, which makes sense. So I'm just going to come back here and we'll get those 56 invoices back now. Notice that my vendor is now in the very front. Any list uh, of, of data that you see in NAV can be exported to Excel simply by clicking the X or the send to Excel button uh, in the ribbon. And there you go, as fast as that. As well, um, most of the list can be displayed not only as a list, but as a chart. And so if I just click that show as chart button, you can see now I'm looking at purchase invoices due today by the remaining amount by vendor. Um, and here's our, our 0010 account, and you can see that, that 1350 that's due based on the list of invoices that we saw. Keep in mind that you can change all of these values. So if I wanted to see something other than the remaining amount, I could go ahead and change that. Um, I can choose a different, a different measure. And also, um, you know, if I didn't like the vendor, I could change it. Maybe I want to see it by due date or, or something like that. So very configurable by the user um, to be able to provide exactly the information that's necessary for them to do their job. This concludes the video overview and a review of navigation for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2016. Thanks for watching.